Get ready to play along on a little Walt Disney World scavenger hunt on today's episode of the Diz Quiz. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to the Diz Quiz. As always, I'm your host, Tommy T., here with another episode where you are the contestant, and I'm calling this one a Walt Disney World scavenger hunt. So what we'll be doing is I'll be giving you things you can find around Walt Disney World, and you'll have to tell me where you can find them. Before we get into it, just my usual quick word that if you do enjoy the Diz Quiz, then subscribing on the podcast service of your choice, subscribing on YouTube, leaving a comment or just a simple like, all these are great ways to support the show. Uh, leaving a review in the podcast app is excellent. I really appreciate those. So however you can just drop a little feedback, a little engagement is a huge deal for us here at the Diz Quiz, and we really appreciate every ounce of support we get from the audience. All right, enough of that. Let me give you some more detail on our game today. So these are all going to be like proper nouns. It's objects and people and places and things around Walt Disney World. And we're only talking uh, current attractions and resorts. So uh, COVID closures aside, these are active things you can see and, and do today in Walt Disney World. So no extinct attractions and, and removed things are involved here. And that's about it. So I'll give you the thing, the person, the character, whatever it is, and you'll tell me where we can find it. So... Put on that Disney knowledge cap and let's get into it. Number one, a Gibson Les Paul. And you can find a Gibson Les Paul in the Rock and Roller Coaster pre-show. If you didn't know, this is a type of guitar. And Joe Perry, during that pre-show film, asked, uh, Hey Chris, can you grab my black Les Paul? And if you look there in that studio area, you can see a few Les Paul stacked up on a rack. All right, let's head to the next one. Number two is a Woolly Mammoth. And the answer here is Spaceship Earth. In that very first scene, you'll see projected on the walls some prehistoric humans working together to take down a woolly mammoth. Number three is Alligator Bayou. And the answer here is Port Orleans Riverside. So Alligator Bayou is one of the two sections of buildings at Port Orleans Riverside, the other one being Magnolia Bend. Number four, where can you find something called the Wicked Wench? The Wicked Wench is actually the name of the big pirate ship from Pirates of the Caribbean. If you look on the back of the ship, it is not the Black Pearl. It is in fact called the Wicked Wench. Number five is the key under the mat. And the answer is the entrance to the queue from Muppet Vision 3D. This is kind of a real scavenger hunt thing because you really can find and interact with this. If you look right around the entrance to the queue, you'll see a sign that says back in 30 minutes, key under mat. And if you lift up that mat, there it is. There's the key. Number six is link chairs. Where can I find link chairs? And the answer here is Avatar Flight of Passage. If you listen carefully on the pre-show, you'll see when they're telling you how everything works, they refer to your things you're sitting in as the link chairs. Number seven, where can you go into the Temple of Heaven? And the answer here is the China Pavilion. This is the main large building at Epcot's China Pavilion, and it's a recreation of a real temple in Beijing. Number eight, where can you find something called Sharing the Magic? And the answer here is Town Square at Main Street USA. And this is actually the name of a statue of Royal Disney and Minnie sitting on a bench under the flagpole. It's kind of the counterpart to the partner statue and I love visiting this whenever I can. It's kind of easy to miss as you're rushing into Magic Kingdom, but next time take an extra second and check out this statue, it's really nice. Number nine, where can one find a shrunken zombie head? And the answer is at Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. The shrunken zombie head is actually one of their specialty cocktails made with a few types of rum and some fruit juices and uh, some spices as well. Order this next time you're there and it's got a fun little element when they bring it out to you. Number 10, the amazing colossal man.
And the answer is the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater. This is one of the movie trailers shown on the screen as you're dining there. It's a sci-fi B-movie from the 50s about a man who grows uncontrollably after surviving a nuclear explosion. Sounds about right. Number 11 is Wamba Wanda. And the answer is the Jungle Cruise. Now, all the names of the Jungle Cruise boats are a river plus a name. So we've got Amazon Annie, Nile Nelly, Congo Connie, and Wamba Wanda is one of them as well. And this is based in the Wamba River, which is located in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The more you know. Number 12, where can you visit the Grand Canyon Concourse? And the answer is Disney's Contemporary Resort. This is the official name for that open concourse area of this hotel in the main building where you'll find Chef Mickey's and the monorail station and some other fun shops and things to do. So next time you're there, remember, you're in the Grand Canyon Concourse. Number 13, where can you find an eye exam chart? And the answer is Journey into Imagination with Figment. This is one of those classic charts with the big E at the top and then the smaller letters underneath that you use to test your eyesight, and you'll see one of these as you enter the sight lab of this attraction. Number 14, where can you see bongos? The answer here is Kilimanjaro Safaris. It's possible that the instrument bongo exists somewhere in Walt Disney World, but what I'm referring to here is the animal bongo, which is a type of antelope you can see on the safari. Number 15, where today in Walt Disney World can you see Mr. Toad? This one's actually got two answers. Number one is on many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. When you enter Owl's house, turn to your left and look behind you, you'll see a picture of Mr. Toad handing the deed to Toad Hall over to Owl because that's the attraction that replaced the original Mr. Toad ride. But also at the Haunted Mansion at the exit, there's the Pet Cemetery, and you'll see way in the back an actual Mr. Toad tombstone. Number 16, where can you find the Inventor's Circle? The answer here is Epcot, and it's actually an art installation on the ground in between Spaceship Earth and the Land Pavilion. It depicts some of the most important inventions and inventors from throughout history. Check it out next time you're there, it's pretty cool. All right, number 17, where can you find the game Twister? The answer is on Toy Story Midway Mania. You know when you're transitioning between the different scenes and you'll see those big blown up versions of games and classic toys? One of them is the game Twister, and that's when you spin the thing and you put your hands down. Kids, ask your parents if you don't know what it is, but it's a, it's a classic game. And you'll see it there in Midway Mania. All right, number 18, where can you find Mount Gushmore? And the answer is Blizzard Beach. This is the name of the quote unquote mountain that you're visiting here. And it's the site of the major slides and attractions at Blizzard Beach. Number 19, where can you find Island Mercantile? And the answer is Disney's Animal Kingdom. This is actually the name of a gift shop. So when you walk through the Oasis and over the bridge and onto Discovery Island, look to your left, you'll see this shop, Island Mercantile. Number 20, where can you find the Turbo Lifts? And the answer is Star Wars Rise of the Resistance over at Galaxy's Edge. You'll hear them referenced a few times in the attraction as you're trying to find them to get yourself off the ship. Number 21, where can you put on some opera glasses? And the answer is Mickey's Philar Magic. This is what they call the 3D glasses. You know, they like, to, they like to create the fun names for the different 3D glasses. In Philar Magic, they're called your opera glasses. Number 22, where might I find Bill Nye the Science Guy? You might have went to Ellen's Energy Adventure, but remember, current attractions. The answer here is Dinosaur. In the queue for Dinosaur, over the speakers, you'll hear Bill Nye the Science Guy giving you some fun dino facts. Number 23, where can I visit Hourglass Lake? And the answer is at Pop Century and Art of Animation. This is actually the lake that divides the two resorts. You might know that Pop Century was supposed to cover the entire 20th century, 
with Hourglass Lake dividing the two halves. But the second half of the project got scrapped, became Art of Animation, however the lake still is there as the divider between the two resorts. Number 24, where can I find the ISTC? The answer is Mission Space at Epcot. This is the agency you're visiting for your space training and it actually stands for the International Space Training Center. Number 25, our final question is, where can I find a No Way Jose? And the answer is Beaches and Cream over at the Beach Club and this is actually the name of a peanut butter hot fudge sundae you can order there. So that does it for this Walt Disney World scavenger hunt. I hope you're enjoying this format of videos because I'm enjoying putting them together. If you've got other ideas for topics for this type of video where I'm throwing trivia questions out to you, definitely let me know in the comments. And if you're enjoying this, let me know about that as well. And then of course, leaving a like or a subscription on a podcast service or YouTube really helps us grow and really appreciate every ounce of support we get from you, the audience. It means so much. Love seeing the growth here on the DizQuiz channel. We've got some more of these types of videos coming out and some other surprises later this year as well. But until then, I've been Tommy T. This has been the DizQuiz. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.